Hello and welcome to Chateau Petite. Can't wait to show you our latest renovation project, which is now complete and we've done it in a whole French provincial style. You will notice the lavenders in the front yard. There's lots of beautiful lavenders just to give that real European feel. So come on in and I'll show you what we've done. You'll notice the infamous click. This is in all Team Toucan renovations. We love to have the clicky lock. So this here used to be a garage and we wanted to make it a more usable space. And so we've turned this whole house into a four bedroom house rather than a three bedroom and put an extra bathroom in, which means that we've got two and a half bathrooms now as well. So this here, you'll notice that we've laid the slab and then we've added two extra bedrooms. So this is our first bedroom with a built-in wardrobe and absolutely stunning wooden windows. We've gone with a very neutral color palette, but this time we've decided to go a little more with the grays, which is why we've got our lovely gray feature doors. Bedroom number two, once again, gorgeous timber windows, looking out on stunning scenery here at Tambourine Mountain. Okay, the other thing we did was we moved the linen cupboard. The linen cupboard actually used to be part of the bathroom, which I'll show you in a minute but we've moved the linen cupboard here and what used to be a laund, well, it wasn't even really a laundry, it was a tub, we've made into a separate laundry laid um, further down in the house. Okay, so right here, there used to be a linen cupboard and we moved that off into where the garage space was so that we could make this bathroom, which was once really pokey. It was a separate toilet, separate bathroom with a shower that you could barely get into and um, it, was a, it was corner. I felt sorry for all the men in the world because they really would not have enjoyed that shower. And we wanted everybody to be happy in this bathroom. So get ready for it, because this is like one of the centerpieces of this house. Um, an absolutely gigantic bathroom. All right, so there used to be a wall here and, um, and a, so the separate toilet was here and the old bathroom used to only come to here. So you can imagine just how small and pokey this space was. So now we have a giant shower, a giant deep bath where you can feel full of bubbles. I kind of feel like I might want to jump in there myself. And oh, I have to say, I just love these vanities. I was able to get a number of these vanities for this house and they're that not only are they the perfect color for the tiles, which I, I have to say, I'm a true convert to these tiles. I love them, they're beautiful. You come in here and just go, oh, I love this bathroom. Okay, so further down the hall, we have, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna show you this first before I show you this room because it, it'll make more sense. So over here, in between, in between this window and this door, there used to be a big wall, which divided up this huge open space in a really strange way. It, we had kind of a little area over there, which no one really knew what to do with. It wasn't quite big enough for anything. Um, and so this used to be the master bedroom and you'd go into the ensuite there and you'd go into a tiny walk-in wardrobe there. So what we decided to do was absolutely a demolish, de I was going to say abolish, which is kind of the same thing, but demolish the entire master suite and turn a different bedroom, which used to be quite a small bedroom, into the master with an ensuite. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you what used to be the walk-in wardrobe and the ensuite, which is now the laundry and the powder room for guests. Great laundry space. You can put your dryer and washer there and have bench space to fold your washing on. And then for guests, 
this is a lovely little powder room you know which also has a decent amount of space so guests you know they don't have to be going to the main bathroom they can just come straight in, in here and be close to the living area okay now this is where I come to the master bedroom remembering this used to be tiny we've pushed into the garage a little bit and we've eaten into this space a bit so you'll notice the old bedroom used to probably only come to here so we came out to give this master suite a huge wardrobe so here we go we go in and cameraman's probably going to see himself in the mirrors because they're mirror wardrobes so we've got large wardrobes for the master suite much bigger bedroom than it once was because it used to only come to about here so we've been able to extend into what was the garage this is the gorgeous ensuite we didn't want to hide it away it would have made this space feel a lot smaller so we've got another gorgeous vanity because you know the days of the dressing tables you know when the dressing table was in the room and you'd have that big pretty mirror and the ladies would have all of their you know brushes and makeup and everything that what this is the modern version and isn't it gorgeous? Privacy wall here, because let's be honest, nobody wants to be caught on the load. So behind that, we've got toilet and very, very large shower. And what used to be the old garage door. So this garage door, we've actually put a glass door in here with a privacy blind, just so we get a lot more light into this space. Okie doke. So now we come to some of my favourite rooms in the house and that is this big open area. Now this kitchen is mammoth. Who, who wouldn't, I mean don't, don't you just want to lie on this kitchen? I mean this, this island bench top is just so beautiful. You can just imagine family around here and everybody's cooking together and we're chopping onions and and making cakes and having a big family do. It's, I love it. And there's plenty of space for a nice big dining table here too, which is why we decided against having a breakfast bar. A breakfast bar really wasn't necessary because we wanted families to be able to gather around the table. All right, so there's storage everywhere in this kitchen. We've got it all across the front here, nice big, cupboards cupboard space so loads of storage there loads of storage in all of these areas which have been all strategically placed okay you've got your dishwasher oh beautiful kitchen sink our farm sink all ceramic and lovely and then as we come over here obviously you've got your living area room for a big tv because we know that the boys all like to play their games don't pretend you don't. You're all looking at that when you come into the house. Where, where's the fridge and where's the TV? Well, boys, I have it all sorted for you. It's all here ready with a lovely comfy lounge and an ottoman to throw your legs up on. Okay. Now, study nook. Very important. Don't we all love somewhere where we can put our computer and know that we have that special space to do our work or whatever. Now, it may well be that you use one of those bedrooms as, a, as an office, but for those who just want to be close to where the action is, but be able to, you know, write those little emails while the kids are doing this or that, lovely study nook. Oh, now another feature that I just goo and gar over, and that are, they are the French doors. Now, this used to be just an ugly open space and we thought no well you know how much I love barn doors so I really wanted to put barn doors in but there wasn't the space for us to be able to push them so we were like okay well we're going French provincial let's go with French doors so here they are I'm only going to open the one rather than push out the two today but it opens out onto a sunroom really spacious rumpus room conservatory sunroom whatever you would like to call it surrounded by nature there is just beauty oozing out of every aspect of this room and not only that 
the doors, the slider doors that we have here, open this space right up so that if you wanted to, you could have the outside and the inside interacting together. So you could have a barbecue out here if you really wanted. We've done this as a, um, as a relaxing area to go and have a look at the garden. But yeah, just room everywhere. And the lovely thing about this block is that the majority of it is very, very flat. So if you wanted to, you could have a shed here, you could have a pool here. There's plenty of side access from both directions. Um, and we get northern sun into the main living areas. An established garden is already here and a fantastic drainage system because the person that originally built this house was a drainer and knew that every now and then tambourine has some rain deluges so all of that rain turns into a summer creek so this is actually a very clever um, little invention that they've they've put into the house oh look a bush turkey on the run don't worry he's not a resident he's just a visitor okay and so we have a summer creek here that basically deals with all of the water issues, which is fantastic because what it means is that you are not going to have any water issues with this house at all. Okay, now I'm going to take you around the side. Once again, a really, really nice parents retreat area, you know, parents need to get away and they can just, you know, have their little space and relax and know that everything is okay and families can be being entertained over there and, and we just have a, a space to escape to. Now as you will have noticed on the front of the house it's all been clad with stone and that's to give it that real European feel and we've put a pergola out the front as well um, so that wisteria can grow up and around it over time. So that is our new project and it is super cute and I just love it. So I know that it's gonna be a wonderful home for somebody and we can't wait to see you at the open home. Okay, bye.